do I think it's a serious thing? Best way to get over it? Things like, of course, it's a serious thing. Understand that these are billion dollar corporations that their goal is to get you to buy more of their shit. Seriously, all those foods are made, made to be addictive. They're made to get you to buy more. They want you to buy more. Think about the slogan for Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. That sounds like a fucking, uh, that sounds like an addict to you, right? Once you pop, you can't stop. <sighs> yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem if you just can't fucking stop eating them. So all those foods are literally from the packaging, from the placement in the store to the actual, the taste, the texture, everything is to literally a T. It's done with test groups. It's done with scientists and fucking labs to make sure that it's as literally as addictive as possible to maximize their profit. So the, exactly the bliss point uh, the, of salty and sweet, that fine line where you just can't stop. Your body's just confused and you want this and you, it's just different stimulation. So if you go from sweet to salty and sweet and salty, that's why a lot of people eat salty or dinner with salt and they want something sweet and they go back to having chips or salt and it's just that. But if you put it all in one food, you just can't stop eating it. And um, what was I going to say? And they're trying to maximize their profit. So the goal of these companies is to make, keep their product or make the product as good as possible or keep it the same, but then use the cheapest fucking ingredients possible. Why do you think you can get this massive bag of chips that's half filled with corn and soy? You look at the ingredients, it's all shit on the back. And they sell it for $4.79. Think about this, okay? A lot of this stuff is made in other countries or shipped from thousands of miles away. You have a bag of Doritos that's $4.79 from farm. You have the farmer, right? Of course, a lot of these foods, like the corn and soy, is subsidized by the government, so it's almost free, okay? But you're making this stuff. You're the farmer. You're shipping it, right? You're grinding it down, processing it. Big plants, lots of workers, a lot of them undocumented, all that stuff. And then you have... <laughs> to get the raw ingredients and you're making this fucking shit, all the scientists, all this other stuff and they're shipping it. And then they're putting in this fucking bag. They're shipping it across. You have the grocery store. You have the people that truck it. You have all these different and, and they're charging $4 and 79 cents. Of course the volume and they're making a sick profit. So imagine how much it costs to make if they're gonna make a profit on all that overhead. Of course the volume and, and, and usually they're not, you're not just buying one, you're buying that, then you're buying soda and these big companies like Kraft or Hershey's or whatever it is, they're all, they own many of those. You go get some chips and you go get some soda. Soda is the guy with the biggest profit margin. It's just sugar water. It's disgusting. So anyway, they're maximizing profit. So they are literally trying to get you hooked on it. It's definitely a real thing for sure. And some people just have more addictive personalities. So some people can have a cookie and then not have one for a couple months or just like whatever. Some people literally just can't stop. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. But yeah, it's made for you to keep on buying them, buying them and buying them and buying them. And why do you think they market this stuff to kids? Because you get them hooked when they're three and then you have a lifetime customer. <laughs>